Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of 1998 Represent. On this episode, we're taking a look at the first season of the Pokemon anime, which started premiering in 1998 in the United States. Um, I think it was started premiering in like 1997 in Japan, and then it got dubbed over and or dubbed and brought over here uh, in uh, 1998. So, or the first season is also sometimes is part of the Indigo League. I know they did. I think the first season is broken up into two major parts, and then I think there is the um, the Orange Islands of Orange Island Adventures, which is um, kind of like between um, regions. So. Um, the first season takes place kind of in the uh, Kanto region. Uh, not, yeah, first season. And then uh, some, some of the second season does too. And then eventually when they get to the second game, the um, Pokemon Gold and Silver, they are in the um, they're in the Johto region. So yeah, Kanto and Johto, and kind of between those is the um, Orange Island Adventures, which kind of bridges um, both of those uh, series. But uh, I have some notes here for it. So, um, the first episode aired in um, September 8th, 1998. The season ran um, through um, the rest of that fall up to um, May. So, like, it looks like May 1st, 1999 is when the first season officially ended. There is a total of 52 episodes in the first season. Um, first episode, you know, it's basically with Ash gets his Pikachu. It's just called I Choose You. The kind of concept is that he is... Um, turning 10, I think it's 10, um, and he can now go on his Pokemon journey, and he's, like, you know, like, dreaming about which Pokemon he's going to pick out of the three starters between, um, you know, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander. He oversleeps, and then um, goes there, Professor Oak is like, well, everybody got here on time except for you, and there's this, only this one Pokemon left, and it's a uh, Pikachu that, at first, doesn't really want to be with Ash. He's very stubborn. Uh, Ash is also not a great trainer that early on anyway. And then that is ki that kind of kickstarts um, his Pokemon adventure. I think in the first season, or first episode, um, you know, like he gets a tap, like throws a rock at, I think it's like a Spearow, um, hits something and then basically um, creates, a, there's a huge swarm of Spearows that are chasing him. And eventually, um, at the end, once like this kind of storm clears, you see, I think it's Ho-Ho or Ho-Ho, I think. You see Ho-Ho, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, Ho-Ho or Oh-Ho, I don't remember. But uh, you see him kind of flying toward a away, and then that is a kind of a tease for the second game where that character is in that one. Uh, some key episodes in the first season here is, of course, I Choose You, that's our first episode. Um, Pokemon Emergency, the reason that I choose that as a key episode is that is the first time you see Chansey. Uh, so, like, they basically bring Pikachu to, um, you know, like a Pokemon Center, and there's a couple of chances that are just pushing the uh, gurney around. Uh, there is the showdown in Pewter City. That's where he faces off with Brock. Um, and then, um, you know, like, basically, like, gets beaten by Brock and then eventually uh, beats him later in the episode because I think, like, there's a sprinkler system. Gets, um, and then, uh, what is it? Sprinkler system gets um, Onyx all wet, and then Pikachu's able to shock it. Um, next after that, we have, uh, both us return, uh, the, the water flowers, yep, yeah, showed out of Peter City, there is the water flowers of Cerulean City, so he gets his boulder badge, I think it's boulder badge, and then he gets whatever the water badge is in Cerulean City, and Missy's sisters are initially just going to give him the badge, they're like, oh, like, cool, yeah, they just have the badge, and that she then challenges, um, Ash, because he's like, hey, you gotta earn this badge, so he's like, she... Challenges him, and he gets the uh, the water badge from her. Uh, Pokemon 10, episodes 10, 11, and 12. Let me bring up the list of episodes here. I think it's just 10, 11, 12. But um, uh, let's see what we have here. So 10, 11, and 12 are the uh, three episodes where he gets the three starters. So you have episode 10, he gets Bulbasaur. That's Bulbasaur in the Hidden Village. Episode 11, you have Charmander, the Stray Pokemon. And episode 12 is... Here comes the Squirtle Squad. So that gets him the three initial stars of the game of Bulbasaur's Charmander Squirtle. I remember specifically remember the one with Charmander because they find Charmander. He's been abandoned. And they take him and they bring him back to the Pokemon Center because they say, oh, the flame's going to go out. So uh, they basically get him mended. And then he gets stronger. And his former trainer sees how strong he is. He's like, hey, I want my Pokemon back. He's got this, like, 
I forget the character's name. He's got this really, like, kind of, like, punk British accent. He's like, hey, that's my Pokemon, or something like that. He's like, come back to me, Charmander, or something like that. And then, um, so Charmander then decides to stay with Ash. And then um, you have the Squirtle Squad, where the Squirtles are just going around kind of, like, trolling people. And then eventually uh, there's, like, a fire, and the Squirtles become the kind of honorary fire department. And one of the Squirtles, it takes the sunglasses off, and it's like, and then it joins up with Ash. So that is uh, those three, that run of three episodes gets him those starters. Um, I also really liked Island of the Giant Pokemon because there was like an episode right before that when they're on a ship, like the SSAN or whatever it was. It crashes, um, it gets shipwrecked, and then there's the Island of the Giant Pokemon where the Pokemon are now separate, or like they've been separated from the trainers. And it's cool because the Poke the episode is subtitled for the Pokemon because the Pokemon uh, usually they'll just say their name. And then um, the kind of the other characters will somewhat translate what's going on, but since there's no humans around them, it actually subtitles what the uh, Pokemon are saying, which is kind of kind of cool. And remember, there's a line where um, like Ekans and Coughing are basically saying like somebody's like, I think like Squirtle or one of the Ash's Pokemon mentions bad Pokemon, and then um, I think Arbok or not Arbok because that they're, that's the evolved form, but like Ekans and Coughing mention something about being like, yeah, there's no bad Pokemon, there's only bad trainers. Um, eventually that episode wraps up. Another kind of key episode in that one is Bye Bye Butterfree. So Ash in the, um, I think like the second episode or, no, I think it's the third episode. Third, because it's called Ash Catches a Pokemon. He catches Caterpie uh, in, the, in the Viridian Forest. That's who went in the game. And then eventually evolves that to a Metapod. I think it evolves into a Metapod like in the very same episode. And when it's in a Metapod form, it doesn't really do a lot. But um, and then that kind of hatches out of that cocoon. It becomes Butterfree. Uh, that episode is just super emotional because, like, Butterfree's been in the group and then, like, sees, like, the female Butterfree and tries to impress the female Butterfree. It doesn't really work out at first, but then Team Rocket rolls on them and they get uh, captured, I think, and then Butterfree helps free them and then the two Butterfree just decide to, like, like peace out. They leave. But, um, yeah, that was also really good. Um, and then another key episode that I really liked was just Wake Up Snorlax because there's the episode where uh, Snorlax is basically blocking a river from um, irrigating some crops in a town, and the town is basically, like, well, not necessarily a ghost town, but um, it goes in there, and basically they have to wake up Snorlax so it can just, like, eat the vines that are blocking, because it's, like, it's blocking the river, but also all these vines are now growing in the riverbed. They're blocking all the water off, so they have to wake up Snorlax to eat all the vines to help get the, kind of, like, the crops irrigated again. And I don't know if Showdown of Dark City is in this episode but that one is also really good yeah showdown in dark set dark city that's episode 42 from this season um another episode featuring chancy and it's really cool because there's these two warring gyms in this uh town and they're basically vying to be one of the um gangs basically wants to be in charge of running the fit that town's official pokemon gym and these two gangs are basically just going at it and like the characters kind of just wander in and kind of get involved with it but they're, they're basically at war with each other um, over becoming an official Pokemon gym. They know there's a Pokemon League inspector coming by um, at some point to inspect the town to basically say, like, which of these places can be an official Pokemon gym. The, um, basically, basically, a battle happens where, like, they try to turn the Pokemon on their trainers, kind of, and have them, because they all get covered in red paint at one point. And then, you know, like, you have, I think it's, like, Scyther and Electabuzz are just staring at each other, and now they just see red, because all that Pokemon, their trainers are covered in red. And then, eventually, the two gangs start to uh, eventually team up to deal with Ash and company. Uh, they basically, like, start attacking them, and then the Pokemon League Inspector shows up, and this person, this character's been in the episode, like, in the background, like, wearing, like, basically, like, wearing, like, a mask like that, like, kind of like a surgical mask. And that person shows up and says, I'm the official foot... Inspector for the Pokemon League and holds up their badge, which is the Pokeball. They throw the Pokeball, um, and out pops Chansey, and it was awesome because Chansey's just like, Chansey! Like that. And then um, the Inspector rips off the jacket, like this trench coat that they're wearing, and it's uh, Nurse Joy, who is the official Pokemon League Inspector, and basically tells them, be like, hey, like, you guys can't be a Pokemon gym if you're just going to be, like, using your Pokemon for street fighting and all this other kind of nonsense. So, uh, work together, and then I don't remember if they ever resolved which of where that official gym would be if that ever even actually happened. Um, there's a list of the Pokemon that were obtained um, in here as well. 
So the party like party kid just in this uh, article I'm reading. So Ash gets picks up Pikachu in episode one. He picks up Caterpie in episode three. He gets a Pidgey uh, Pidgeotto. Yeah, Pidgeotto in episode three as well. Then Brock grabs a Zubat in episode six. Ash gets Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle in episodes 10, 11, and 12, like we mentioned earlier. Ash also gets a Krabby in episode 13. James gets a Magikarp in uh, season 15. Misty gets a Horsey in episode 19. Ash gets a Primeape in uh, episode 25, which I think is Primeape Ghost Bananas. Misty just gets Psyduck as in episode 27, like accidentally cap like captures him. It's just, it's one of the funnier moments in the series where basically she basically doesn't really want the Psyduck. It kind of trips over a rock. I think she's like walking backwards, trips, o- trips over a rock, and a Pokeball just rolls out of her pocket or off her belt. And Psyduck is basically just like, uh, let me see if I have like, I don't have a ball, but like this is the Pokeball. He basically like taps his bill to it. It just gets captured. So, like, basically, like, got captured without even, like, like, Misty didn't really even want to capture him. And then, like, the running joke with Psyduck is he just pops up at terrible times throughout, like, the rest of, like, at least this season. I don't know if, if Psyduck is still even in the show, but... Uh, does that. So, like, again, uh, Misty gets Psyduck. Brock gets a Vulpix in episode 28. Is that the Breeding Center one? Or, it's not the Breeding Center, but it's, like, Pokemon Fashion Flash. I think it's, let me see, was it Pokemon? I think it's called Pokemon Fashion Flash. Yes, it is. So Pokemon Fashion Flash, um, another cool episode because it features Chansey as well. You see, see, see a Chansey like, in a beauty salon getting a, um, getting a massage. But Ash, I mean not Ash, Brock gets Vulpix in that episode. Um, Ash gets a Muck in episode 30. Is that the one of Magnemite? Because I think it's like where they're like just like in like a really toxic area. Yeah, Sparks Fly for Magnemite is that one. Um, Ash grabs a Taurus. I think he's got, like, a ton of them because I think he, like, sends them all back to Professor Oak at some point. Um, Jesse gets a Porygon in episode 38, which is kind of like there's an asterisk on that episode because episode 38 was actually only shown in Japan and is, as far as I know, has never been, like, rebroadcast. I think you could watch it online, but it's going to be the original Japanese. And I think it's called Electric Soldier Porygon. And there, I've seen, like, parts of it because there's, like, the reason it got banned was, like, after it got aired, like, there was, like, a bunch of kids that were just getting, like, epileptic she- epileptic seizures in Japan just because there's, like, lights flashing and strobing like crazy. And, like, um, it reminded me of, like, the kill screen in um, The Legend of Zelda. Like, I think it's uh, Legend of Zelda, like, Zelda 2, like, Link, like, Adventure of Link or whatever it was. And when you die, when Link, when Link gets killed, the screen will just flash, like, really quickly. And then Ganon starts laughing at you. But, like, it's, like, a screen like that, which actually just, like, caused a bunch of kids in Japan, like, several hundred thousand from what I remember reading, um, to get these seizures. So we never show that episode again. Another band episode was actually called Beauty in the Beach. And I don't know if that one ever got... I think it got broadcast once, it said. It was never available to stream. And I think they probably... The reason it got broadcast is, like, James does some kind of, like, stuff that would not be considered to be appropriate in the episode. It's kind of, like, kind of weird... So I don't know if they, in the broadcast version of the United States, they probably just cut that scene out, and the rest of the episode is probably fine. But yeah, that got cut out. Um, so yeah, Jesse gets Porygon. Uh, Misty gets grabs Togepi like toward the end of the season because there's a whole like arc with the Togepi egg because they find it, and I think they get the episode in whatever. I think it's Attack on the Prehistoric Pokemon where there's like Aerodactyl and like a bunch of other kind of like the ancient Pokemon or some other ancient Pokemon come out. And I think they find this egg, and then basically they're taking care of the egg. And one, in one episode, Meowth from Team Rocket is, like, taking care of the egg, like, trying to incubate it and make it uh, make it hatch. At one point, James, like, mentioned something about having, like, fried rice with it or something, and Meowth, like, scratches at him. He's like, hey, like, don't mess around. Like, this, we're going to hatch this egg. And then uh, the way Togepi works is Togepi imprints on whatever it sees first. So as, as they grab the egg, it hatches. And even though Meowth was the one that kind of took care of it and, and caused it to hatch, it saw Misty first, so then it imprinted and then it belongs to Misty. I think Togepi eventually, or Misty eventually came back in like some of like a later season and Togepi evolved to Togetic, I think. Yeah, because it goes from Togepi to Toga um, Tick to Toga Kiss. But I think it evolved to a Togetic and then like decided to stay to like be a protector of Pokemon in some other area, I think. Something like that. Um, and then uh, James grabbed Weepin' Bell. It was, like, sometime before episode 57. But then, of course, as we know, that there was an episode where Butch and Cassidy, who are the other members of Team Rocket that are actually competent, like, did a whole scam with Pokemon Centers where they were basically stealing Pokemon. And um, they James left his Weepin' Bell with them. And later in the episode, when he came back, the Weepin' Bell had evolved to a Victory Bell. 
And kind of the running joke with James, it's similar to how Missy has Psyduck, is Weeping Bell will show up, just kind of like pop up, and swallow James. And then at one point there was one episode where like it's happened a bunch of times, and Meowth is like yelling at James, he's like, "Hey, you gotta, fuck, you, or you got you gotta train that thing. You gotta get that thing trained." But um, he's like, "Yeah, train it up." And then yeah, we, we talked about Electric Soldier, Soldier Porygon, and the um, was it Beauty of the Beach? Those banned episodes that uh, eventually I, I think Beauty of the Beach eventually aired, but uh, Electric Soldier Porygon uh, did not. But um, the first season, I'm not really even huge into anime, and I remember watching this when it came out, just kind of curious about what it was, and I actually really enjoyed it. I definitely really enjoyed the, the first season, um, and then into the Orange Islands, and then into the um, kind of Johto Adventures. I watched a little bit of the stuff from the, um, I don't remember, what is it Sinnoh? Sinnoh, I think, is the um, Ruby Sapphire region. That's kind of like when I stopped watching or not watching it as much. But um, definitely had a lot of fun with the first, like, season and then into the Orange Islands and beyond that into um, the um, Johto region. Probably my favorite episode of all time, though, is actually in the Johto, or the, yeah, Johto. It's called Ignorance is Blissy, and it's about um, Jesse working, or trying to study to be a Pokemon nurse and be friends with Chansey, and then eventually, like, you see Blissey, and it, it says that Blissey's the evolved form. It's a great episode, but... That is basically just a kind of recap of the first season, some of my favorite episodes from it. We'll definitely do another Pokemon video um, later in this series covering some of the other aspects of the series, like the games, or at least uh, like Red and Blue probably. So it would definitely be a video for Red and Blue. Um, and maybe like another video just kind of like around the kind of like the craze and mania that started with Pokemon, because I think that kind of, like, was definitely going on closer to 1999. Definitely started in 98, though, because they, they did the TV show. We're talking about now, we're talking about that. But they did the TV show, they did the game, they just had, the, like, toys and all that. And I think the card game, at least the um, the localized uh, version of it came out in 1999. But So, yeah, there's definitely going to be at least one more Pokemon video definitely covering the game, and we might do one just about, like, the whole, like, Pokemon craze as well. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll see you again later in the week. We'll probably be doing another game, I think, like a video game of some kind or a computer game. I'm not sure exactly just yet. But that will be coming up um, probably later in the week. Again, that's going to do it for now. Um, thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one.